Carlos Carlos is live in Rolling Hills Estates with the latest. Carlos. Good evening. The land is still moving tonight. Homes have been pulled from their foundations. Right now, we understand that 12 homes are under evacuation orders. Other homes are just a complete loss. Probably one of the scariest things of my life. The ground is opening up. Residents in the Rolling Hills Park Villas are fearing the worst as a dozen homes are being threatened by a sliding hillside. It's concerning, yeah, it's a lot of families live here, um, have been here for 33 years. Abtin Hashimian has lived on the Palos Verdes Peninsula his whole life. His home is structurally sound, but he is keeping a close watch. At the end of the day, worst case scenario, just everything's going to slide into the bottom of the canyon, but um, yeah, the sounds were really, really eerie for sure. It's sites like this that are heartbreaking to watch. A home caving in along Pear Tree Lane. 12 homes were evacuated last night after a homeowner reported something not right. Firefighters realized they had a much bigger problem on their hands. The ground along the canyon side of these properties had shifted significantly. 16 people have been forced to evacuate. Others are simply playing it safe. So I'm not just going to let my sister stay here. I'm just going to make sure she goes home with me until for the next few days until you find out exactly what's going on. When it's more safe, maybe she can come back because she lives by herself and her little dog. So I don't want him to stay here because if you're asleep, what's going to happen? The homes were built in the 1970s. One official says all the rain we had this past winter could have played a role in softening the soil, but no one knows for sure until geologists can examine the terrain. Unstable. There's always land movement going on here. We're sitting on a bunch of bedrock. Now, power and gas have been shut off in the area, and as you can see behind me here, crews are still working at this late hour. They will stay out here to monitor the situation. The good news, no one has been injured. That's the latest here in Rolling Hills. Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News. Yeah, it's going to be a long night. Yeah.